Hello and welcome to V Media. At V, we deliver trending round the clock news on everything Ninja. To ensure we keep delivering, we need you to subscribe to the channel by hitting the sub button. Do that as well on the like button. Then drop a comment at the end of the video and please share them as well. Thank you. Atiku, Okowa, Ayu in Kano as Shekaru returns to PDP. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, Sunday arrived in Kano State alongside party bigwigs in a scheduled meeting with Ibrahim Shekaru, a former governor of Kano State, who is expected to return to the party from the new Nigerian People Party, NNPP. I just touched down at the center of commerce, Kano State. The next few days are said to be very productive, Mr. Abubakar said in a Facebook post. Mr. Atiku is expected to welcome Mr. Shekaru back to the PDP on Monday after the latter's sojourn in the NNPP. The former Kano governor, who is the incumbent senator for Kano Central District, said he was leaving the NNPP for refusing to implement the terms of an agreement it reached with the group before its defection to the party in May. Mr. Shekaru is expected to announce his return to the PDP on Monday, where he will be received by Mr. Atiku and his entourage. Mr. Abubakar's entourage includes the vice presidential candidate Infai Okowa, former vice president Namadi Sambo, the national chairman of the PDP, Iyochia Ayu, and a former governor of Jigawa State, Sule Lamido, and many other party big wigs. Please guys, took a quick break to ask that you please subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and share our videos too. Thank you. Meanwhile, the former governor of Kano State, Ibrahim Shekaru, says his group is angry with the new Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, for refusing to implement the terms of an agreement it reached with the group before its defection to the party. Mr. Shekaru accused the presidential candidate of the NNPP, Rabiu Kwankwanso, of betraying the trust of his group members following their defection to the party in May. Mr. Kwan Kwaso, in an earlier interview with BBC Ausa Service, had said the party was unable to meet Mr. Shekaru's demand because his group came into the party late when the window of substitution of candidates given by the Electoral Commission, INEC, had closed. Mr. Kwan Kwaso said in the interview, in politics, it is a difficult decision to ask a politician to step down for someone. On Monday, Mr. Shekaru told his supporters that the NNPP has betrayed them as he submitted their demands to Mr. Kwan Kwanso over three months before INEC closed the window of substitution of candidates. Mr. Shekaru said Mr. Kwan Kwanso constituted a committee on 16 May and gave the committee three days to submit a report on the demands, but the committee failed to do so and had been foot dragging for over three months. The former governor said after he defected to the NNPP, apart from his nomination as a senatorial candidate, the NNPP nominated none of his members for the coming elections. Shortly after, I sought an audience with Kwan Kwaso and I presented our proposal to him, to which he said it was okay and in line with his intention. On 16th May, Mr. Kwan Kwaso visited me and the proposal was discussed again and the idea of establishing a committee was reached with the NNPP Kano governorship candidate, Abba Yusuf, as the chairman, his deputy, Aminu Abdusalam, Kawu Sumaila, and Al Hassan Rurum, all as members. Surprisingly, on May 19th, a list of candidates was released by NNPP in Kano without consideration to our demands. I was forced to immediately proceed to Abuja the next day to see Mr. Kwan Kwanso over the issue, and he agreed to expand the committee with four other members from our group. 
they conceded 13 hours of representatives membership to us and 31 state assembly members, among others, Mr. Shikaru recounted. Mr. Shikaru said despite the reconstitution of the committee and the time frame given it, the chairman of the committee, Mr. Yusuf, refused to call for a meeting. At a point in time, I spoke to the Kano NNPP chairperson, Aruna Dogua, over the food dragon on the issue, and he was even included as a member to fast track the harmonization of our candidates with their candidates, but that also did not work, Mr. Shekaru added. I also spoke with the national chairman of the party so that the harmonization of the two lists of the two groups could be worked out, but it never happened until INEC closed the candidates' list window of submission, Mr. Shekaru lamented. The senator said various political parties have since been exploiting the disagreement and inviting his group to join them, saying that the group was still considering the offers. Mr. Shekaru and his group left the APC in May after a dispute with Governor Abdullahi Ganduje over the control of the ruling party. He was thought to be returning to the PDP but opted to lead his group into the NNPP after the party was taken over by Mr. Kwan Kwanso and his group. The two former governors had always avoided being in the same party until the development. However, it now appears that their romance will be short-lived. Thanks for taking out the time to hang with us. Have a good one. Bye.